Welcome to use V1.1 Gut Tour Management software. Please follow the guidance to know more about the software. The operating system requirement is Windows 2000, Windows XP, Windows Vista. Please insert CD on appropriate drive. Program contains the auto run start function. When the full icon showed up, double click it and finish installation. After the installation, Visa started. Follow the instructions on the screen and install the program. After software installation, click on the icon and the system will launch a user login dialog box. The software will require a username and password to operate. For first use, you can get password in tips. For master use, choose the default username master and default password is 999. For regular use, choose the default username user and the default password is 123. In fact, this is a multi-level operator system, so when accessed, you can reset username and password at different level operator system in operator management. Please seek help from instruction. Initializing system. Reset and initialize the readers and system inner memory. Press System tool and then click Initialize. There are several options. Choose the item you want to have initialization, and then all data stored in the reader and the system will be erased. When the system is operated for the first time, or a reader is used on the system for the first time, it is recommended using it in order to eliminate all useless records. In addition, please connect reader to software and then click read data in order to clear the useless records in the reader. Guard setup. In the item or patrol setup, click guard setup to add, delete, or modify guard ID cards. There are two ways to add guard card ID number to software. 1. Read ID cards and then connect the reader to computer and then click Batch Read button. Please note, there is a clear data option on the right side of Batch Read button before Batch Read card ID from the reader. If you can choose clear data option, that means after Batch Reading card ID from the reader, all information will be erased from the reader. If you do not choose that function, that means when Batch Reading card ID from the reader, all records will still be stored in the reader, and you can still use them in other aspects. In order not to mess all the setup, we recommend you to clear data when you batch read data from the reader. Another way to add a guard card ID, please note that click add button. You just can input the guard name, but cannot input card number, which just a fit for no ID card condition. Root setup. Open up setup root screen by going into Patrol Setup. You can click on Root Setup to add, delete, or modify roots. Click Add to add new roots. Enter a root number and root name. For example, root number 1, roots name, warehouse. Please note, you will see there is a button. If in this root, no editor plan in it, you must make a reader bond in this root. Otherwise, when you finish patrol, all the patrol records will not be allowed to upload to the software. But if the root has a tour plan, then this item will become an optional item. You can choose a bonded or not bonded. Station Setup in the item or patrol setup, click checkpoint to add, delete, or modify stations. Before editing station information, choose a route in which you want to add stations first, for example, warehouse, and then set up the information as you want. To add each card menu, after selecting route's name, then click Add on the left-hand side. The screen below will pop up. Enter card ID number and enter the station name. 
To do a batch raid automatically, use the raider to raid each card in the order. To do a batch raid automatically, use the raider to use each card in order that you want. After which, connect the raider to the computer and click. And then, all the card's ID number will be shown on the right blank. And then, you, you must assign each card ID with the respective station names and select Available ID records and click to save them. After adding and modifying, all the information will be saved and displayed on the left-hand side as shown on the root setup screen, which are shown under a root name. After adding all the stations you need, which will be showed on the right side of the screen, you can use Moon each station up and down. Please note, if there is a clear data option on the right side of the screen, before batch raid card ID from the reader, if you choose clear data option, that means after batch raiding card ID from the reader, all information will be erased from the reader. If you do not choose that function, that means when batch rating card ID from the reader and you select and save the data from right to the left blank, then the unselected rests, which are on the right side blank, will be stored in the reader and you can still use them. In order not to mess all the setup, we recommend to clear data when you batch rate data from the reader. Event. Any event's book can be defined and set up using cards for the patrol guards to carry during the patrol. For example, the guards can carry four cards with the following predefined events. Card 1, Hidden Fire Danger. Part 2. Unlock the door. Cut 3. Raw materials lost. Cut 4. Lights still on. When the patrolling guard encounters any of the incidents above mentioned, he can automatically raid the cars with a reader to record these events automatically with the timestamps. To use this function, these set of signal cars have been predefined in the events book by clicking on events book, and you can find it in the item of patrol setup. Tour plan. First, choose a route which you want to set a tour time plan. Then click Setup plan. Another window will pop up. First, choose a tour plan start date. If there is a holiday, you should also choose a holiday item. If the tour time, if the tour plan has a disciplinary, you can click button and schedule to have a time set up. If tour time does not have a disciplinary, then please click Add Schedule, then to add a tour time. When you finish Time Setup and click Confirm button, you will see Time Setup information on Plan Setup window. After Time Setup, put your officer to add a guard in the route. Please note, when you click Setup Plan button and have a time set up, this tour plan is a main and general tour plan, which just have only one tour plan. 
it just have a start time, no end time. That means once you set a mail tour plan, this plan will keep being operated till you modify or delete it. If during a period the tour plan needs some changes, except already settled period, the tour plan will still be the same as general tour plan. Then you can use period plans. Data processing, reading data. Click on read data on the main screen. Then the screen below will pump up. With the reader connected to computer, click on read data button, and then the data in the recorder, condition for patrolling, such as guard name, time cost, route, station, time, date, and incident, will be transferred to the computer. When reading data, the software will automatically process records and incomplete tour and omissions. Patrol reports. By this function, you can query all what you want. Click Patrol reports on the main screen. Then the screen below will pump up. Choose the data range, start date, end date to query the patrolling reports. Then all the data you need will be shown. Data maintenance, data backup and restore. It is important to backup your database on a regular basis, even daily, to provide a safety net in case of your database gets corrupted, or if you accidentally purge data that you still need. Data can be backed up to a backup drive. To perform a backup of saved database and all the setup done during the setup as above mentioned, click Backup Data. After clicking the button, you will be prompt to save the backup file, give a meaningful name, and choose the destination folder to save the file into. In the event that the data in your database has been corrupted or lost, you can restore the data from your backup drive. To restore a saved backup file, simply click Restore Data. Click on the Restore option. This will bring up the Restore Data window. Select a drive and directory from which to restore the data. Clear data. When too many old and useful data stored in the database, then speed of software will be slow, so you need to clear these old and useful data periodically. In the item of data maintenance, click Clear Data, then the screen below will pump up. Choose the time you want to clear data, which is in the database, then click Clear Data.